Yo, what's good? It's your boy, K-Sky, a.k.a. Blading on the Brain. Back at you one more again, and I'm about to try out the Omnis. So this is the first sesh, first impressions, out the box, done everything, heat molded, whatever you got to do to get them comfortable, I have done it. So stretch out the box, ready to skate, first session. As always, like, subscribe, share the things. I got like a half an hour, so I'm going to get it in. And then I'll tell you guys how I feel right after skating my first time on the Omnis. I'm going full stock wheels frames liner everything except for the insoles i swapped out wish me luck thanks for joining in Peace. Whoa, quick break from the action to be like, I was nowhere in that Savannah, but the groove in these skates, the Royale groove. Lawrence, you said it would be dope. I gotta try some back rails, but to miss that trick and then just get stuck in the trick because the groove and the angle with the frame is so perfect. Whew. Just had to pause for that real quick. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, for real though, I don't think I laced a really good back royale at all. I think most of them was slop, but yo, there's a couple that I just held all the way to the end of this very long ledge. Strictly, I think, because of this groove and this massive sole plate fin. That once you're locked in with the grooves and the fin, you can sit on top of the ledge and just coast. There was one I got, I mean, my front foot was surfing the channel and my back foot just carried me all the way to the end of the ledge. This is, this is a Royale groove worth mentioning. 
I ain't heard nobody say nothing about how good this Royale Groove is yet. And that's a crime. Because this Royale Groove is fabulous. Like it. See, the cops is out because it's so fire. They're trying to track it down. So it shouldn't exist. You all did yourself, Lawrence. Seriously, though. Ooh, sun is setting, session's ending. I got like 40 minutes in, which is good for my old self. I am no spring chicken, and this was just a random day where I got excited, had some time away from work to come and skate. First impressions, yo, these skates are like everything that the advertisements say, these are grinding machines. I so enjoyed doing back rails, I just, ended the session with like a bunch of back royales and I've been on this journey trying to find new skates and I haven't been comfortable in a single skate doing back royales. You didn't see me do any back royales in the Monsways, very few back royales in the seven. And so, I don't know, this is a good sign when a back royale is so straightforward right out the box. I am fully convinced that Lawrence took his time, did the right measurements and all that science to make a quality product. I know folks have been talking about the liner and the fit. I am a 28.7 on the Richter scale, meaning that Mondo, and I'm riding a large with the standard 10, 10 and a half liner inside. And I had some compression on the toes initially. I, I don't feel like my heel made it all the way back into the very cushy heel pocket. So I'm excited to break these liners in. And I'm really happy that I took the time to heat mold twice, the boot and the liner, because there were no pressure points. If you don't like a stiff cuff, this is not the skate for you um, on first thoughts. But I bet once it wears in, you'll like it much more, so give it time. But I love a stiff cuff, so this was great. So much more stability than I've had in a long time. Slim, trim, and that's just how I like it. Peace out, y'all.